Are you tired of losing your hard-earned resources to enemy attacks in Clash of Clans? Well, fear no more. We are here to share a new Town Hall 8 hybrid base with you. As a Town Hall 8 player, you need a base that can defend against both ground and air attacks. The symmetrical Town Hall 8 hybrid base has been specifically designed to cater to your needs. The base's symmetrical layout makes it harder for them to plan their attacks and increases your chances of successfully defending your resources. Firstly, we're going to focus on the Town Hall, which is an important building that can be destroyed to earn one star. We've strategically placed it in the center compartment to make it harder for opponents to get that one star. Next up is the Clan Castle. This is another critical part of your defense strategy, as the troops inside can help defend against enemy attacks and turn the tide of the battle in your favor. Make sure to keep your Clan Castle stocked with powerful troops to give yourself the best chance of defending against enemy attacks. Air defenses are crucial for defending against air attacks. They deal high damage to flying units and can quickly take down enemy air troops. So we've distributed all the air defenses around the town hall in such a way that they can provide air coverage all over the base, while making it difficult for opponents to snipe them easily. We've also strategically placed the air sweeper far from these air defenses so that opponents cannot destroy both air defense and air sweeper at once by using the lightning spell. Moving on to the mortars, wizard towers, and bomb towers, we've distributed them to provide splash damage coverage throughout the base. This will be helpful during ground attack strategies, as opponents will need to use their spells on every part of the base to save their troops, making it harder for them to earn two or three stars later in the battle. Traps are another line of defense that can catch your enemies off guard and do massive damage to their troops. So we've placed them in front of the main defensive buildings, making it easier to eliminate other remaining troops. And, we've strategically placed all the other ordinary defenses to defend against both ground and air attacks. This means that no matter what type of attack an opponent chooses, this base will be ready to defend. Since it takes a lot of loot to upgrade troops, heroes, spells, walls and buildings, so all the storage buildings are strategically placed to make it difficult for enemies to reach them.
Now, let's see the defensive structures and heroes placement, as well as their effective coverage. You can also copy this base design into your game using the link in the description. Finally, let's watch some defense replays to see how effective this base design is. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. If you need more base layouts at different town hall levels, let us know in the comments. And we'll see you in the next one.